guys. Hey. Sorry that we didn't get to recording on Sunday. We were both kind of tired and it was a pretty long week. Yeah. Well, touch more on that. Oh, now she came out of the basket. I was trying to show you guys how cute she was in the basket. And of course, as soon as I yeah. went to show you, <laughs> Ella ran out. Mm -hmm. So, dang, missed an opportunity. <laughs> That's all right. Um, so basically, I just wanted to touch on a couple of different things with you. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought it would be really interesting here if we talked about our first week as a married couple. Yeah. So I think we're going to go ahead and do an overview first. Mm -hmm. All right. So an overview. We got home on Sunday. Our wedding was on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Um, we showed you our cabin that we had our little mini moon in. Um, so overall, I think our first week was kind of to be as expected. It was, yeah. it was different, but it was kind of the same. Mm -hmm. And we have already faced some of those challenges. And even though we had been living together for, um, two years there wasn't really too much adjustment there mm -hmm. but we've already started facing some of those harder challenges um, yeah so I think the hardest part about this week had really nothing to do with our marriage and it had everything to do with my job yeah so literally five days after we got married I got the phone call that they had terminated my position in the store mm -hmm. so i got laid off yeah it's definitely a way to start your marriage and the opposite for me i got <clears throat> my work picked up like crazy yeah so, so i'm no longer gone one day of the week so it's like the full week but um my boss is out for this week for these two weeks and he had a whole list of stuff and i'm like running from place to place like crazy up and down like multiple stories of stairs and yeah yeah so basically when he said that he's there the full week he was on furlough for one day a week mm -hmm. so he would work four days and have a three-day weekend yeah that just changed mm -hmm. our wedding week was the last week yeah for that so he's officially back to full time mm -hmm. and i've officially been laid off mm -hmm. And I mean, we've come to terms with it. We talked about this being a possibility months ago. I was just expecting this to be more of a conversation as your fiance, not your wife. Yeah. I think that was the kicker of it is just like as mm -hmm. soon as we tied the knot, yeah. life happens. And I mean, I wasn't expecting it to slow down. I know that life is crazy. I just wasn't expecting that so fast. Yeah. So that happened. Mm -hmm. um, other challenges. Um, I know that it was an adjustment for you trying to sleep in a yeah. bed with you being a single child mm -hmm. and um, yeah, not really having to share a bed with anybody. Yeah, definitely. For you, it seems like your sleep has gotten a little bit better. And for me, my sleep has gotten worse. Yeah. Um, it doesn't help that now we have Fitbits to track our sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and I we wake totally up. totally got Fitbits. Yeah. yeah. His. Mine's stuck. Oh. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, you, it's the same one. It's, it's the same one. one. Yeah, <laughs> you take my word for it. But um, <laughs> when mine says I got, because I have to wake up at like six in the morning, so mm -hmm. mine says I got like three hours or uh, four hours of sleep, and then uh, you get to sleep in a little bit, <laughs> and you um, have like ten to nine sometimes. Sometimes, not necessarily, not all the time, but sometimes you get. Because here's the other thing about the whole sleep thing with, mm -hmm. with you, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. With Kylo, I'm fine. With both of you, yes, I can't do it. Because mm -hmm. Kylo takes my side of the bed, so I get smushed to Josiah, and then Josiah moves a lot. So then I wake up every time he moves, because I'm just so close mm -hmm. to him, and it just gets very uncomfortable, because I'm trying to dodge the cat, and then you yeah. flip and flop, and yeah. it wakes me up, and I, I don't sleep with the both of them in the bed. Mm -hmm. You gotta pick one. Like, I can't do it with both of you. 
Yeah, especially Kylo doesn't like most cats when they walk all over you. They they try to be light. No, he's like full like weight on each of his paws each time he walks on you. He's very so. heavy. Yeah, he is not a lightweight kitty. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I think those have been our biggest adjustments. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's nice that we've been together for so long and live in the same household because yeah. most of that stuff is. Is yeah. it, because that was crazy when we first started li living together. It was like uh, we had all with... those regular arguments that people moving in yeah. did have. But you figure we had been moved. So we'd been living together for just over two years, mm -hmm. and we'll have been together for four years in November yeah. this year. So, I mean, it wasn't that we were just rushing into marriage. We've been together for a while, so. Mm -hmm. We actually kind of took our time with it and we did kind of the opposite of what's considered the norm yeah. nowadays but yeah that's that's where we're at with it um do you want to do a quick car update well yeah my car's still in the shop but i did get the i don't know if i already said this in the other vlog but i did get the uh information about um um about how much it's going to cost if things go well because um, they finally they got the transmission apart, and they the belt was so the it's a CVT transmission. Basically, I'm saying transmission transmission twice when I say that because uh, it's called the constant variable transmission CVT, and it has like this belt that it shifts like a metal belt that shifts between the different like gears and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, that was shredded like completely and utterly shredded. Apparently, they're so, not supposed to shred like that. The guy had said that he had never seen one shred the way that ours did. Yeah, so it like it shredded all the pieces when it threw out the thing. So he's like, he's like cleaning everything out. He's like, he said he was upgrading some of the valves and he's replacing the torque converter and stuff like that. So um, it's a big job. So and it's also a car company. Yeah. Because Zuki is a car company. They don't make any cars in the U.S. anymore. They make bikes still, but they don't make any cars yeah. in the U.S. But the only problem is the repair that we're doing on your car is like the top of our budget mm -hmm. for what we capped it at. Because most people would be like, ah, screw it, I'm getting a new car, but I don't feel like I'm in the market right now. and so We are. Yeah, we are in the market anyway. But, but not. Not to replace it. No. Does it add to our... Our mentality is, it's a good car. We could probably sell it for about 6000 mm -hmm. We're paying less than that to get it fixed. The top of our budget, yes, but it's a good car. It's paid off. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to keep it afloat. It's doing its job. Mm -hmm. It will at least get me through a couple winters with us being having to take the mini off the road for the winter. Yeah, it also helps that um, now that the transmission is will be repaired, then I can focus on, because I'm learning how to fix cars, so I can focus more on the wheels and that type of stuff. Because mm -hmm. I can do that stuff a little better. Transmissions, I'm not going to touch. Like <laughs> that Transmissions been... you have to dismantle the entire car to get to. Oh yeah, and I would like yeah, that's this, this, that's not something a beginning uh, mechanic should ever attempt. Let's not. <laughs> so. Um. So yeah, that's basically it for the car situation. Mm -hmm. So we're on the market for like a smaller SUV. Yeah, something that it's as long as it's all-wheel drive and it's more of like a truck frame-ish. But not I don't care truck. if it's four. Yeah, I don't care if it's like four-cylinder to a V8. I don't care. So yeah. We're not that particular. Yeah. I'm not trying to be that choosy right now. We just want something that's going to get us through, like, maybe three or four years, if even that. Yep. And also... That's not daily drive, either. Yep. Also, we're getting close to fixing up the Mini. So, I definitely want to film that, me fixing up the fi and Mini. And I've been reading the comments, you guys. I yeah. know that you guys are, like, really, really excited. You really want a video on the Mini. It is coming. We mm -hmm. promise. We're trying to budget in getting everything situated so we can do a nice waxing and everything. We'll show you the damage that's on it. When I say damage, I mean like hail damage. It's nothing bad. Yeah. Um, it's stone hits. Yeah, stone hits, easily mm -hmm. fixable. So we'll show you all of that. We'll do a before and after. We'll show you the process. We 
Yeah, Just and, I've and been the doing woes a ton and of my research. concerns. So yeah, yeah, I've been doing a ton of research. Um, so. So. Yeah, that will hopefully show you coming. that. I promise you, it's coming. I'm not sure how much of the details you guys want, like, cause I, I mean, I like repairing things. I don't know if you guys like to watch, like, want me go over how I repair things or yeah. like my thought process. So uh, let it's us up to know in the comments below how much detail do you want of it? Do you want like a before and an after, or do you want to see the process? Cause mm -hmm. you can do either one. We don't really care. Um, cause there's a lot with this researching where it's like. I'm not, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the clear coat is thick enough yeah. where we can polish it without going to the base color. So, mm -hmm. and that, you know, if we go to the base color, that's not good, so. Yeah, we're trying to avoid that, but there's also a lot that goes into this, but we, this is the first time we've done it, but Josiah's been doing a lot of research and he feels pretty confident and mm -hmm. honestly go for it. Yeah. Oh, also, I read your comments about the lightsabers, too. So mm -hmm. we will do a video on that as well. Um, yeah, if there's anything else that you want answered or anything you'd like to clarify on, just let us know in the comments below. I do read every one. So mm -hmm. just let me know, and we will be addressing your comments in a future vlog. Yeah. Because right. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see more things, not just us sitting around talking to you. <laughs> Probably a, want to see. This is a vlog. It is a vlog, but I think you guys. <laughs> I'm hoping you guys would like me repairing things. I love repairing things. It's my biggest hobby. Well, we could also start you a different channel mm -hmm. of just repairing things. Yeah. But yeah, just let us know what you'd like to see, and I'm pretty sure we should probably fill you in on the rental car story. So yeah. this one's your story. I'm gonna let you go ahead with it. I don't know. I don't know if we touched on it fully yet. They seen the rental car. They seen the rental car. Okay. They we said that there was a whole story that went with it, and that was coming later. So go ahead and tell them the story. So yeah, we we wanted to get a rental car, like a sedan or something like that. And cheapish. Yeah, cheapish, and we're just because we we're, weren't like. We're glad what we got ended up getting, but like we were planning to take multiple cars, multiple like mini, car, like small cars, because we we're gonna keep that rental car to drive around the area until until Sunday. Until when we Sunday, came back. and everyone else went back home on that Thursday. Mm -hmm. So um, we're we're thinking something small. So when we got there, they asked like, "Do you want a free upgrade to a Chevy Suburban?" I'm just like, we thought about it for a second. Like, yeah, sure. And then um, that was a good idea to do that because that thing is huge. It's got three rows of seats, so it can hold. It ha held all the groomsmen and all the stuff that we ever needed. It was a big vehicle. It took me a little bit to get used to because um, yeah. I I like small cars. I'm probably one of the few people here that that likes really small cars and enjoys them. So, but I also start to enjoy big cars too, like big trucks and stuff like that. So. It was kind of a fun experience, so. Yeah. <laughs> but it was funny the way I found out, because I was just getting out of the shower, and I'm walking over to my room in my robe, and he mm -hmm. comes out, and he's like all excited, oh, and yeah. like, you never guess what I got. <laughs> Kayla, you need to come outside. I'm like, can I put clothes on? Nope. I'm like, hold on a few minutes, please. <laughs> So he's patient, I finish up, and then I go out, and I look, and he's just like, let's go get gas. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, so we hop in and we go to the gas station. He's like really, really excited about everything. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> it was really funny to see him that excited about a car. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny because now we're looking for like a a winter car. I'm like, I'm like I know, like I want to get something with three rows of seats just because of holding everybody and stuff like that. And I'm like, no, it's probably not something I should only look for. Yeah, Cause, no. Cause that was fun having it, all the guys in, in the back of the Suburban and just driving, so. Yeah, seriously, he's been looking for like three different rows just so we have the capability of doing them. Like, yeah. it's not necessary. We don't mm -hmm. have to have that, Josiah. Yeah. Oh, well. It happens, I guess. Yeah. But other than that, um, you guys are probably wondering about like any arguments or anything like that. We really haven't gotten into anything major. Yeah. Um, crazy. As for the honeymoon phase, um, we never really went back to that. Mm -hmm. We 
So if you do any research on relationships and things, because we took a premarital class, so we learned about different stages and relationships and everything. We're in stage three, previous to the wedding, but through this whole process and everything, we never really went back to the honeymoon stage. We're still yeah. in phase three, which kind of makes me curious because I was wondering if it was going to start over here or if it's going to start over mm -hmm. maybe by our own house. It might. We'll see. I don't know. I don't think it will, but mm -hmm. it may just because it'll be a new chapter. Yeah. Don't know. Let us know your thoughts. Mm -hmm. If you have any experience with this, would be happy to know what your thoughts are. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Nothing much. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Um. Oh. And I think we're going to make a vlog probably next year to explain this. So we did our 52 things yeah. to one another. So you write um, 52 reasons why you love the other person. Mm -hmm. And on your wedding night, you do your first one and you just read one a week. Um, kind of like a weekly anniversary mm -hmm. type of thing. So you read one every week. And that's kind of an interesting. I'm it really is. excited to show you guys. Sorry, it cut out, but we are really excited to show you guys what we've been saying about one another. Mm -hmm. We'll do our third one this Thursday. Yep. And I don't think I'm gonna do that vlog until all of them are done. Mm -hmm. But I have been writing and keeping track of which ones we've gotten each week. So we'll be able to make that in about a year or so. Yeah. But I'm really excited for that one. Me too. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Do you have anything to add? Nope, I don't think so. All right. Well, if you guys have anything you'd like to add, um, be happy to answer your questions and everything else. But mm -hmm. I think that's it. All right. <laughs> And to, to our, our biggest, biggest fan, fan love, love you, bug, bug. bug.